a lot of us are wondering or upset with ourselves or upset with other people for wasting our time. Okay. And I understand that's upsetting. I'd be upset too if I felt like someone wasted my time. But what you should also be upset at is allowing yourself to, to be in a position where someone can waste your time. What do I mean by that? You also need to hold yourself accountable because if you're over here searching because you don't know what you want, what you desire or what you're looking for, you're also going to end up stringing yourself along, waiting for someone to show you that they are who you need them to be or waiting for someone to show you what your dream life could be like, right? And instead of you already knowing what that looks like and identifying if someone is in line with that or if someone isn't in line with that, you're sitting around waiting for them to show it to you. And then they end up after a year of your life, six months of your life, showing you that they're actually probably not that person and they're probably never going to show you your dream life. And then you're upset at them for wasting your time when all of the signs, if you were to actually sit down and think about what it is that you want, all of the signs as it relates to them not being what you want or what you desire or what you need, were there in front of you. You just didn't do the work of understanding what it is that you want, what it is that you desire, and actually being honest with yourself about it, being specific about it. Because what happens is that when you go on these dates, you'll immediately think about this. If, I, if, if after you write down this entire list, right? And you make it super specific of all your wishes that you could ever wish for and think about and want and possibly even, you know, anything you write down and you're so specific, right? As specific as you are, when you go on that date, after you've written down all of those things, what's the first thing you're going to be able to identify when you meet someone, you're going to be able to quickly identify, um, actually, you don't meet any of the criteria that I want in a man, you'll have a very clear understanding and that's okay. It's okay to meet someone and quickly recognize that they're not the person that you are seeking. That's perfectly fine. That's actually a good thing because you'll spend a lot less time wasted getting strung along by these guys, right? And a lot more time only invested in people who are actually serious and are in line with the vision that you have for yourself. It's okay to be a woman and have a vision for your own life. It's okay to be a woman and, and have direction. It's okay to be a woman and have goals and strive to be the best or strive to have the best life. It's That's okay. You don't have to sit around and wait for a man to show you that life or give you that life or sweep you off your feet, right? I'm not saying you shouldn't have a man that's, that you, that I'm not saying that you have to be so masculine that you take over and you're the man. What I'm saying is that it doesn't make you more masculine or manly because you're trying to manifest a life that you want for yourself. Even if that life is, I want to be with a good man who treats me well and respects me and courts me and we have this great spark and all that good stuff. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. But be specific in what you want. Be specific in what you're looking for and then do the job of putting yourself in a position right? Where you can actually start seeing that. Take action towards that. Manifesting, right? All of that stuff does not work unless you take action after you identify what it is that you want or you're seeking or what it is that you want to be. Because changing your aura, the same way I talked about writing out your wish list, right? Knowing what you want, changing your aura only also only works if you can first identify what you want your aura to be. What do you want people to feel or think when they see you or come across you? What feeling do you want to inspire in people when they see you or come across you or meet you? You should be able to picture in your head after someone meets me, the first thought in their mind is, wow, she's so intelligent or wow, she is um, a goddess. Wow, she is... Picture in your mind what you want other people to feel and think when they meet you. And Valentina said, I'm so tired of this game. You can say you're tired of the game and you're tired of the relationship games, but anything that is good requires work. So if you want to have a good relationship, if you want your partner to desire you, if you want your partner to chase you, if you want your partner to be attracted to you, yeah, unfortunately, that takes work. Now, if you just want to sit on your ass and never have to do anything and just exist, just, just be a blob on the couch, existing, not doing anything, not saying anything, not putting in any work towards anything. Sure, you can do that. 
But don't expect people to desire you. Don't expect people to be attracted to you. Don't expect people to want to do anything with you. If you just want to sit and exist and have people come and love you just for your mere existence, you're living in a dream world. If you don't think that you should have to put in any work and still have a great, awesome, amazing relationship, you're living in a dream world. If you call that games, having to put in work, having to think about how you present yourself, think about how to make yourself the most desirable, think about how to inspire people to chase after you think about how to motivate them to want to be in a relationship with you more and more how to make yourself more attractive if you consider that games well then sure you can consider that games but then don't be confused why people aren't attracted to you don't be confused why people don't desire you don't be confused why people don't want to be with you or or treat you the way like or give you the princess treatment like you want okay don't be confused. Most of the people that will tell you that they are they're they're not with the game, they don't want to play any more games and they're tired of all the relationship games and stuff like that and they don't want to have to do all this work in order to get a guy to like them. I mean, sure, sure, sure. But so don't do the work. Don't play the games. Don't try to understand uh how men think. Don't try to make yourself more desirable. Don't try to make yourself more attractive, but then don't wonder why the guys aren't attracted to you. Don't wonder why the guys don't want you. Don't wonder why the guys are choosing other girls over you. Because the other girls are actually putting, and I say other girls, but this applies for men and women. But the other people who are actually putting in work to be more desirable are naturally going to be more desirable. So the people are going to desire them more and do more for them. Are you following what I'm saying? I know it seems very simple in concept. But I mean, it's the truth, right? If me as a man, right, I can, I can yell till I'm blue in the face talking about it's so unfair that the girls want the guys who are rich more and the guys who've got more money and bigger houses and all these cars and all this fancy stuff and all this, all these great fi fi financially stable and all that. It's so unfair that a guy who's got more money will be seen as more attractive to majority of women than me. <laughs> That's so unfair. <laughs> the girls should love me for me. The girl shouldn't love me more if I have more money. <laughs> if I'm poor, the girls should still all love me just as much, if not even more. <laughs> Why do the girls like a rich man better <laughs> with more resources? <laughs> I can cry till I'm blue in the face. However, that's not going to change the fact that a man who is more financially stable, who has more resources, is naturally going to be more attractive to a woman than a man who doesn't have that, or let's go in the opposite direction, has none of that. That is the reality of life and relationships as we're talking about heterosexual relationships, straight, straight relationships, men and women, okay? That is the reality, okay? So rather than me focusing all my energy on what women should desire in me as a man, I'm better served focusing my, my energy on identifying what women find more desirable and aligning myself with what women find most desirable so that then I can be as desirable as possible to a majority of women and then I can have my selection or choice of which women do I feel best suits me. Do you see how that is a much better use of my time and energy? Because with that mindset, I can actually get what I want out of a relationship and a partner. With the mindset where all I do is sit, sit around and complain and talk about how it's unfair, nothing actually changes and I don't get any closer to getting the relationship that I want, to getting the partner that I want. As the years and the months and the decades go decades go by i'm still in the same place complaining trying to convince people that they should be attracted to me even if i'm not rich even if i don't have any resources even if i'm not financially stable i'm wasting away my entire life trying to convince people of something right i'm trying to convince the people 
that I'm attracted to, that I'm trying to attract, that they should be attracted to something different. Do you see how that makes no sense? Do you see how that is a complete waste of time and energy? Right? If me as a man, I know I want women to be attracted to me, but I also want women to be attracted to me in the way that I want them to be attracted to me, not in the way that you're attracted to me. I want to change the way you're attracted to me, but I still want you to be attracted to me. Marin said delusional. Exactly. It is delusional. Right? Because I want you to be attracted to me, but I don't want you to be attracted to me in the way that naturally would make you attracted to me. I want it to be in a specific way that I want you to be attracted to me. How does that work? It's your attraction to me. I can't tell you how you should or shouldn't be attracted to me, right? What I can do is ask you questions and get a better understanding of what makes me attractive to you and do a better job of doing that. Do a better job of embodying that because that won't require a fight. That won't require me to convince you of anything, right? I, you'll be attracted to me. You'll desire me. And now I'll get to choose who I want to be with. It's the same thing for you, right? Don't focus your energy on, I don't want to play these games. And why do I have to do this to be more attractive to men? And why do I have to talk like this and present myself like this? And I don't want to do that. And I don't want, cool. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. Just don't be confused why the men aren't attracted to you because the straight heterosexual men, they're, what they're attracted to in a straight heterosexual woman is not going to change. No matter how much you yell and you scream and you complain and you say this and you say that and you post videos and you do that, what naturally, what straight heterosexual men are attracted to is not going to change. I'm sorry to tell you. You're, there's no amount of talking you're going to do or energy you're going to put in that's going to change what the straight heterosexual men are attracted to. So rather than focusing your energy on complaining about it or saying how it's unfair, why don't we guide our energy into understanding it, right? So that you can utilize it to your advantage, get your pick of whichever man you want as far as the eye can see, and you can choose the best possible partner and man for you, right? Because if you spend your, someone said, don't fight your nature. Exactly. If you spend your entire life trying to convince each man you meet that they should be attracted to in uh to you for a different reason you're going to have a very very small pool of men to choose from very small because most of them won't be attracted to you okay if you focus on understanding how they think understanding what they want understanding what they desire understanding what they find attractive in you or in women in general and you align yourself in that right you have the power now, right? Because once they desire you, once they're attracted to you, once they want you, they're in the palm of your hand. That's what you don't understand about your aura, about the, they're in the palm of your hand. The aura, the attraction, creating desire, all of that stuff. It, you, I'm trying to help you get these men in the palm of your hand that you can choose to do whatever it is you want to do with them. Whatever it is your heart desires, you get to do with them. If you want to take them and toss them in a lake, you can toss them in a lake. If you want to get them to jump off of a cliff, you can get them to jump off of a cliff. You can do whatever you want with the men. But the first step is getting them to desire you getting them to be attracted to you, getting them to want you so that they're on their hands and knees saying, what must I do for you? Right? You want them to say, what must I do to get you? I need to have you. I am desperate for you. I'll do anything. I'll crawl on glass. You can fart in my mouth. Do anything, anything that I can do to get you. I will do. You want them crying, sobbing, please, please, please. I'll do anything, miss. Just a, just, just a little bit of pussy, please. I'll do anything for you, please, please. Right? That's where you want them. In the palm of your hand. And you don't have, this is the most amazing part. This is the most amazing part. This is the most amazing part. You don't have to give them anything. 
You don't gotta give them nothing. 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 You don't have to give up anything. You can have all of that power and give up nothing. This, that, this is the, these are the concepts that I'm trying to teach you and help you understand, right? What I'm trying to do is give you information so you can understand how to take it and utilize it so that you can have the maximum amount of power, right? Create the maximum amount of desire. And then from there, you can do whatever you want with it.